So guys, for the first method, you wanna head over to search and type in settings, click on it. Now once you're on this, you wanna click on privacy and security, and then you wanna scroll down and click on camera. You want to make sure that camera access is turned on. Make sure that it's turned on, and if you see the application that you wanna use it for, make sure that that's also turned on for the application as well. Now for the second method, you wanna head over to search again and type in device manager, click on it. Now once you're on this, you wanna expand cameras, and then you want to find your camera. You want to right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search responsive for drivers. Make sure they have the best drivers installed for your device. Also, if your camera comes with a software, for example, if you're using a Logitech camera and you have the Logitech software downloaded, it might appear in your software. You want to click on it and then click on settings and make sure that your firmware is up to date. Now for the third method, you want to just simply unplug your camera and then plug it back in. See if that works. If not, you want to unplug it and then plug it into a different USB port on your computer case and then see if that works. Now for the next method, you wanna head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Now once you're on this, you're gonna type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. At the same time, you could also head over to search again and type in virus and threat protection, click on it. And then you wanna click on scan options, click on full scan and then click on scan now. And you wanna run this scan as well. Now once both these scans have been done, you want to restart your computer and then the form should be fixed.